Hello, and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing video on YouTube. Uh, today I'm unboxing a brand new release, a uh, rack mounted product from Yamaha. This Music House product sort of completes their range with a four zone, eight channel uh, amplifier and Music House uh, product all in one small uh, 1U rack mount. The product, as you can see from its packaging already, um, isn't that big. In fact, it's not very heavy. So let's have a look, dive in, and we'll talk about some of the features along the way. Firstly, uh, Yamaha's new packaging. They're all now in a white design with um, black uh, information, black printing, I should say. It's got a beautiful color photograph on one side. Basic information on this end with model and serial number information. Another image here, and then Yamaha. It's, it's taped closed, but the top of the box also reveals some of the main features that you would expect of, of this product. So the first is compliance and other things along those lines associated with iPads and iPods and all of those things that will end up uh, connected perhaps to it. Some of the main features and most obvious is that it's part of Yamaha's uh, MusicCast architecture, but with that supports uh, Spotify, um, Deezer, Tidal, it's an AirPlay device, um, all of those types of things on board for the purposes of streaming music. So, let's have a look. Very simple to open this because it's obviously um, sellotape closed. Very simple nick and rip and away you go. You get to see inside. Okay, there's some of the key things that we see now. Firstly, we've got a single IEC power cord with an earth, so it's a three pin. It's got a couple, a two a pair, of um, rack mount ears. Now these screw into solid mounting points on the side of the amplifier. It's um, got a front panel. Now I'm going to open this and put, then put it off to one side. You see, what they've designed in this product is a sense of elegance. Uh, many of the things that you may not use day to day are classically covered in many of the better amplifiers that Yamaha produce. Uh, perhaps hidden in the setup, or most obviously in behind an oil dampened front panel. So what Yamaha have done is uh, designed this magnetic front panel to cover some of those things. And it's worth mentioning, and please hang around for some photographs where you'll see some of this close up. Uh, worth mentioning that even the uh, on and off display is, is, is projected through. Okay. Get rid of that. Next thing in um, is, of course, the, the manual and other things along those lines. Now, I'm going to open this, not really because I want to have a play with the manual. Most people nowadays are searching online for stuff. But because I want to show you the rest of the accessories. It's got four rubber feet. These are ones that are designed to slip on the surface that it's on, just in case it's sitting in an application where it's not uh, obviously not wanting to scratch something. In other words, not a rack mount situation. It's got a set of screws for those rack ears, and then the uh, plug-in screw terminals associated with the four zones of output. So these, of course, are, are, are four connectors in each, so two for the left, two for the right, for each of the channels and the back of the amplifier is beautifully appointed as far as where these go. Okay. So the rest of this is a setup brochure, a manual, all of those types of things, and a warranty card for both New Zealand and Australia. The product itself comes very easily out of the box and nothing remains. It's suspended inside um, some polystyrene, and removing that really straightforward. And we reveal the product. Now, you can see immediately it's quite small, okay, without even taking it out of its uh, packaging. A simple nick removes that sort of bubble paper, and we get to see this extremely elegant, yet quite understated, little amplifier. So, let's have a look. Firstly, you will see some similarities if you're familiar with any of the MusicCast products. Firstly, of course, Yamaha's logo and some basic stuff associated with what you might need to see as far as its um, uh, power status and illumination, a reset button. But most importantly, over here, we have the four unique MusiCast zones. 
Like many music house products, each of them has a USB input, enabling you to play music directly off a USB or use that USB source throughout any of the other music house zones. It's got some basic information associated with standby, turning on and off, and a connection specific to this zone. And there's four of them, and this is where this product becomes quite unique. Many people, including myself, struggle when using Spotify in a multi-room environment. You've got one account, how do you then project it around your home? Well, this helps to solve it. There are four independent Spotify accounts or channels available on this, and Yamaha, uh, sorry, Spotify will identify the zones within the Yamaha MusiCast as four independent zones. This is quite a departure of previous models where home theatre amplifiers had a single stream that you may then try to distribute to two or three zones. The setup and configuration of this is extremely easy, just like you would expect from somebody uh, who's done a streaming service and, and music playing like Yamaha has. But it's quite wonderful, really, that you've got the opportunity to set these up individually, and if, choose, if you choose to, allocate them and name them appropriately to the environment that it will be in, all in a beautiful little rack mount. Each of these zones is powered by a 50 watt stereo amplifier and they are independent products. And as we see the back in a moment, and please again hanging or hanging around for the photographs, you'll see how beautiful it is as far as an implementation. The unit has two large ventilation grills. Uh, it uses ICE or Class D amplification, so it does run relatively cool despite obviously generating a significant number of power, uh, amount of power. Obviously, if you think about it, it's running eight channels at 50 watts. That's significant. And so the heat from this in a normal environment would be quite difficult to deal with. Hence why they've gone with the very um, efficient ice amplification stages. Spinning it around, you see some cool little features. And this is where kind of the magic happens. The front is designed to be relatively muted. The first is a ground. Um, if you have earth issues in anything associated with amplification, it's almost impossible to get rid of it. Well, an earth lead, an earth ground is one of those things that is important. The first, the, beside that, is the internet um, or network connection. This is the first product that has a both in and out, enabling you to use one single internet feed or network feed and then daisy chain it to the next and the next and so on. Essentially, it's kind of a network switch within it. You've got the basic control of IR in and out, and then the ins and outs associated with all of the inputs that these products will share. You've got an input associated with um, uh, products that will cut in. Now, hence the, the label. It's, um, if it's playing, it's going to take over. So it might be a main background source or something along those lines. I guess it could potentially be utilised for an uh, intercom or something, but look, don't quote me on that. Then you've got the couple of um, auxiliary uh, inputs and outputs, and then the pre-outs associated with all of the channels. Should you choose to not use the onboard amplification, you can pre this out to much larger amplifiers if you choose. Over here we've got triggers associated with all manner of the um, zones, and these are zone assignable, and of course the control um, associated with each of those zones. In this instance it's a chime or a doorbell function. Here we have some of the magic associated with how practical this product is. There is where you plug in the screw terminals that we've uh, spoken about, and each for the four zones that you see. You're able to bridge this if required and deliver double the wattage. So you'll see an ind indication, and again, hang around for some photographs, I'll take some close-ups of this. You'll see an indication of the ability to run this in a bridged mode, uh, delivering 100 watts a channel if required. You've got a simple switch at the top here where you've got uh, the ability to change impedance and also select the bridged mode if required. Finally, an IEC power cord. Now, again, this product, brand new from Yamaha, is a four-zone music house product. Now, I'll be honest, its model number is a mouthful. It's so much of a mouthful, I've put a little cue card under the camera. It's an XDA QS5400RK. Now, RK probably stands for rack mount. The XDA, I would assume, a digital amplifier of some kind. Um, for zone, 5-4, something along those lines. What we're going to refer it to is a 4-zone rack mount MusiCast product, and that's what it's delightful for. Four MusiCast zones, all of the amplification and control you may need, all in one little 
uh, rack mount. Now, most importantly, I haven't forgotten about this. Hang around again for the photos, but look at this. Magnetically inserted. After you've done all the setup and all of those types of things, this beautiful four-channel multi-zone product becomes elegant and simple looking inside any application. It'll grace the presence of any number of, of, of homes and just look awesome. If it happens to be out on display, great, because this thing will not only perform well but look very elegant for, some, for something that's designed to be perhaps a little bit more commercial in its orientation. Okay, so there we have it. Yamaha's brand new four-zone MusiCast uh, streaming amplifier multi-room unit. Here we go. Unboxed here at the listening post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.